What is going on guys? I am back with part 2 on how to build this restaurant. And in this video, I plan on doing the entire interior, which will then complete the build. Okay, so I have the majority of the blocks we're going to be using for the floors and the walls. So I have some green concrete, light gray concrete, white concrete, gray concrete, bone block, lime terracotta, and green terracotta. Okay, first, just to go ahead and get it out of the way, let's just start cutting out all of the dirt within the build. So keep in mind, I do have a night vision potion right now. I'm also going to be using a potion of swiftness, and I'm just going to cut out all of the dirt within the build and yeah so just like all of this space here so i'll see you guys when i have this all cut out okay guys i'm just about to get all of this dirt cut out so i'm just now finishing up we then want to go ahead and grab our bone block here in just a second. There we go. And I want to go like from the door with the bone block until I'm at two spaces after this window right here. So one, two like that, just sideways blocks. We don't want it to be placed upward because then you'll see like the inside of the block. And you don't want it to be placed like sideways because these are going like in this direction the way i'm moving and this one's going in that direction so we want to make sure they're all going in the same direction so like i said two spaces after this window i'm going to bring this straight across to the other side and then i'm going to stop it right here and then i'm just going to bring this all the way until we just like end up up against the doorways so i'm going to fill all of this in so these are going to be the floors for like the main dining area where everybody eats. And then I also decided to go ahead and use lime and green terracotta just for like extra patches and the floors. Because I know like in real life, there are some floors for whatever reason that just have uh, like a main color for a tile. And then there's like little patches of a different color. Uh, if you guys know what I'm talking about, be sure to let me know. But I'm going to cover this all up with bone meal or not bone meal bone blocks and then i'm just gonna have little patches of lime and green terracotta everywhere like um just every once in a while so i'm gonna continue filling the rest of this in and then we'll head on to doing that okay guys i'm almost done as you can see uh, it's all faced in the same direction. There's not any blocks that are like faced in a different direction. So let me fill in this last space. There we go. All right. So now, like I mentioned, I'm just going to start using the lime terracotta first. Oh, let me use my potion. So I'm just going to cut out a bunch of random holes. Keep in mind, we still have to add an extra layer for the walls around like up against these exterior walls. So it's not really any reason to have it right along the edge here. But um, it doesn't really matter if that just helps you to make it look a little bit more even. Then feel free to just cut that part out as well. But yeah, that's going to be covered up just to let you know. Uh, this might be too many holes. Hang on. We might have to fill some of those in. We don't want to overdo it. We just want a couple patches. We don't want it to look like just way too much. Uh, yeah, see that might be way too much. Definitely over there. So uh, let me go ahead and fill some of this in just a few little spaces every now and then all right maybe fill in a little bit more over here right there definitely right here and probably right there okay i think you know what i think that should be good let me delete a few more here and here okay i think that should be good we, that that's fine like I said, just don't overdo it. It might look a little bit weird if you put too many. So like I said, I'm just going to start with like the lime terracotta first. Just place it in just a few of the spite, a few of the spaces, not every single one. Okay, how's that? So here, let me go over here. All right, now let's go ahead and fill the rest of these spaces in with green terracotta. 
It's kind of hard to see the difference between the lime and the green when I do it this way. Um, but, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a noticeable difference, but uh, I still think it looks pretty good with the mix match. You could kind of see it. Yeah, you could kind of see the darker ones and the lighter ones. So yeah, that's all I'm going to really do for the floors in a dining area. So once again, guys, uh, be sure to let me know if you kind of like know what I was trying to go for here with the little patches. All right, so now for this side, we'll go ahead and have just like, hey, let me grab chiseled quartz blocks. So I had chiseled quartz blocks for like the entire kitchen. And then I had chiseled quartz blocks for the bathrooms, but I had a little bit of pillar quartz blocks kind of randomized like this. And then I also used uh, chiseled quartz blocks for the offices too. We might end up changing it up a little bit, but I'm just gonna fill this entire side in with this quartz now and then we'll go ahead and possibly just start bringing up all of the walls okay guys i'm just now finishing up with this side for the floors now so it should be looking whoops looking like this so like the back side's all chiseled quartz and then the front side is the bone block with lime and green terracotta patches so there we go now i guess we could go ahead and start bringing up all of the walls okay guys let's go ahead and do the ceiling area for like above the chilled quartz block so like the kitchen basically and i'm gonna switch to my white concrete and i just want to cover up a layer right underneath all of the quartz up here and let's go ahead and extend this light gray concrete down another block all the way across okay we'll leave it at that for now so let's just go ahead and cover up all of this quartz with white concrete for the ceiling let me actually use my potion again and after we do this we'll start bringing up all of the walls okay i'm just now finishing up with the ceilings with uh, a layer of white concrete so there we go so we'll just leave it at that for now so the next thing i'm gonna do is actually continue using my white concrete and i just want to be right up against the exterior walls and i just want to add two layers down at the bottom so basically just as high as the brick we're going to be filling all of this in with white concrete like that and we'll go ahead and bring this out two layers we'll add an extra layer like that okay so it's all meet it's like all met or <laughs> all meeting up together so this is all flat and that just wraps around and meets up with that gray concrete there so for this middle section we're going to do the same thing so add two layers out and add an extra layer on top of that so there we go it's all still at the same edge go ahead and fill this in now i'm going to continue going around this entire like area like the entire uh inside of this building with a or with two layers of white concrete i'm sorry i'm really messing up uh i need to like slow down so yeah two layers of white concrete at the bottom edge all the way around the inside of the building that's what i meant to say so i'm gonna go all the way around and i'll see you guys when i have this all taken care of Okay, I'm just now finishing up. Whoops, I covered that up. Okay, so there we go. Now, we kind of want to match with the exterior walls. So we then want to add a layer of green concrete on top of this white concrete. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to switch to my light gray concrete. And all I'm going to do is just bring it up to as high as I can actually bring it. So we are going to be covering up like all of this, uh, oh wait, you know, I don't think I covered up the gray concrete here. I just left it all down right underneath it. Uh, first let's go ahead and switch to our gray concrete and add one strip all the way across. So we kind of patched up that little space. So the window attaches now. So we have that taken care of. So it still looks like the pillar is like inside of the building. Okay. Let me go ahead and switch to my light gray concrete and like i said i'm just going to bring this all the way up 
And we also want to make sure to cover up this light gray concrete or the gray concrete there. Okay, so as you can see, I brought this out two layers and I covered it up right there. I'm going to bring this straight across. And yeah, I believe I did end up covering up the light gray concrete there. So let me bring this down to the green concrete. Make sure to skip all of the windows as well. Let's go right down with this side. So hopefully this isn't too confusing. So we're just going to be bringing it all up and we're going to be covering up any of the gray concrete that we see. All right, so as you can see, I'm just bringing it all up. Okay, how's that? So there we go. Yeah, I don't know if I ended up actually covering this up. We'll leave it uh, empty for now. So don't cover up the light or don't cover up this gray concrete. Just bring it up right underneath all of the windows. And make sure to also fill in all of the walls here just up until you reach the white concrete ceilings. So I'm going to go all the way around. Once again, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Uh, right above the doorways here, just add two layers and just bring it right around. So it all ends up at the same edge once again. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just going to go all the way around and continue doing this. And I'll see you guys when I have it all done. And I'll be sure to definitely show you what it looks like just in case if it is too confusing. Okay, so real quick, just for this section, hang on. Oh yeah, okay. So yeah, just for this section, it's gonna be just like two layers thick and everywhere else should just be one layer thick. So like right here, it's just one layer and we're gonna bring this straight across. Okay guys, I'm just now finishing up. So I just got this section right here. Make sure to get that little piece. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is leave all of the gray concrete just how it is. I'm not gonna be covering it up. Uh, as for right here, as you can see, this gray concrete is at the same edge as the light gray, but everywhere else is actually like that. This gray concrete is brought in and this light gray is brought out, so it's not at the same edge. So keep that in mind, you didn't mess up, that's just how it's gonna be. So from down here, you really like can't even tell. Uh, it doesn't really bother me. Uh, obviously, if that does bother you with it being on the same edge, you could just add an extra layer of light gray concrete right here. But then you'll have to bring out the walls. Um, and then it'll be like right up against the window. So I guess you can't really add an extra layer here unless you don't mind it being right up against the edge of that window. Uh, overall, it doesn't really bother me and it should be fine either way. Okay, so literally the only light gray, or the only gray concrete that we covered up is this little strip right here for the pillar on the exterior. But just make sure all of your walls are looking like this. And then we have our floors. We have this little ceiling area here. So the next thing we're going to do is start kind of shaping out the bathrooms and the office spaces, which will then shape out the kitchen right in the middle. Then we could just start doing the furnishings. Okay, guys, I'm going to start shaping out the bathroom and office area, which will then, like I said, shape out the kitchen in the middle as well. So I'm going to start out with my white concrete. I want to just leave one space after this window here. So we're going to be right on the, right on top of the edge of the bone block that we placed. So we want to go from this wall and bring it out seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So as you can see, we just left one space after that edge of the window. So after you place seven, you could go behind it and bring it towards the back side of the building like that. Okay, so we basically just like made an L shape right here. I'm going to go to this side and do the same thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to bring this towards the back side once again. And there we go. So right here at the front side is going to be a bathroom. And then at the back side is going to be the office space for the managers. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and add an extra layer of white concrete on top of the bottom layer that we already have. So it's two in total, just like the rest of the walls. Then we just want to continue bringing up the rest of the pattern. So just a strip of green concrete. And then gray concrete is going to be brought up until we literally can't bring it up anymore. So let me go ahead and add this last strip of green concrete here. So now I'm going to switch to my light gray. 
we have one, two, three, four, and it meets up with that light gray there, so that's perfect. Gonna fill all of this in. So four layers in total for this section, but then back here underneath the white concrete, it's going to be three. So I'm gonna push this all the way back. And then we'll just go ahead and carve out the doors and add those. Um, one thing I do wanna mention, if you guys know, like if you have been here, and you've been subscribed you know that for my doors i normally just have like a doorway like a big opening i don't actually use the minecraft doors but in this case for this build i actually decided to use the minecraft doors for like the bathroom and the office spaces just because it did feel a little bit weird just having a big opening for the bathrooms even though literally people are sitting right here eating um normally when i have the opening i just make it like a big opening so it kind of matches the scale of the build because i don't really like how these walls are really tall and then you literally just have a tiny door like that that looks insanely weird even the windows are twice the height of the door but i thought i'd just go ahead and have regular minecraft doors for this build uh, it didn't really bother me so as you can see i just cut out three spaces on this side and two or no i cut out like two spaces in the middle with three spaces on each side I believe that's how I had it. Unless I had it like that. Whoops. I don't know. Anyways, just make sure you brought up the walls like that. So that is going to be the little bathroom and manager, manager offices at the back. And like I said, right here, we kind of like shaped out the middle space for the kitchen. Okay, so real quick, let's just go ahead. I'm going to grab a quartz stair and so we could get this out of the way i'm gonna curve it like that and curve it in with all of these other quartz stairs and curve this side once again so we just have that taken care of it's on the same edge as the white concrete ceilings okay so i guess i'll go ahead and start carving out all of the doorways for the bathrooms and the offices and then i think yeah after that we could just start doing all of the furnishings so there we go Okay, now for the doors, I'm just going to use a quartz stair and a jungle door. We'll start doing the bathroom ones first. So you just want to make sure you have two spaces remaining on this edge. You want to go on the third space, cut out three in height. Then you want an upside down quartz stair at the top. And then you want to go from the inside and place a jungle door. Okay, so that's going to be the doorway for that bathroom. Then over here, it's going to be the same thing. So on the third space, cut out three spaces in height upside down stair and a door from the inside now let's do the doorways for the office spaces so we want to go towards the back wall count three spaces in on the fourth space you could cut three blocks high upside down stair once again and a jungle door then you just want to go over to this side and do the same thing so three spaces on the fourth space cut out three upside down stair and a jungle door so, oh yeah, by the way, you are going to see a little bit of quartz like that. Normally, I would have like a double wall here, so we don't see that quartz. But in this case, it really doesn't bother me, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. If you don't want to see the quartz like that, you could just add an extra layer for the wall right here. Right here, you should definitely have room. You could put it right along here if that one, if that one uh, block of quartz bothers you. Okay, but anyways, we have the doors done. We still have to do the wall divider in between that bathroom and office space. So we'll do that next, but make sure you just did four doors in total. Okay, guys, so for the wall dividers in between the bathroom and the office spaces, I'm just going to grab my white concrete, green concrete, and light gray again. I'm going to go inside the bathroom. We'll just start right here on this wall. We want to make sure we leave four spaces in total. And on the fifth block, We'll switch to our white concrete and bring a strip straight across so this area right here is going to be the bathroom this area here is going to be the office space let's add an extra layer and then we just continue bringing up these walls and is there we go okay so yeah this is the bathroom now as the other side is the office space we'll then go ahead and do the same on this side so on the fifth block make sure you just have four spaces in total remaining as i will just bring up this wall
Okay, there we go. So now, uh, I mentioned this uh, briefly before, but I want to go ahead and get some pillar quartz blocks. And what I decided to do was just cut out a few spaces every once in a while and like cut out a few spaces within the quartz. And I just decided to put some pillar quartz blocks sideways just to add an extra, just a little bit of extra texture in the floors for the bathrooms. So there we go. It's kind of hard to see. It's very bright for me for whatever reason. It's like just like a bright square right in the middle. Why does that happen? This game is so weird. Okay, hopefully you guys could see it. Just random patches. It doesn't matter what direction it's in. Uh, different direction might just look better. So I'm going to go in here. Maybe have one there. Place this one sideways. This one in that direction. One right here. Maybe one here and one here. Okay, so... You could do that if you if you would like. Uh, I don't think I'm really going to worry about it for the kitchen and the office spaces. So you could just leave those as they are. But if you want to be able to kind of add just a little bit of extra texture in the floors, which really isn't that noticeable, then you could feel free to just add some of these pillar quartz blocks. But now we'll go ahead and start doing the furnishings. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing the tables and the chairs. So I have some quartz slabs, quartz stairs, blocks of quartz, item frames, dark oak wood stairs, and jungle doors. Okay, so I'm going to start over here. So if you walk through the front door, you go to the right side, and it's just like this little area here. We're just going to have two small tables to seat a total of four on this side. So I'm going to switch to a block of quartz. And we'll place a block right here. So we have two spaces on that right side and three spaces behind it. Then we'll go ahead and have upside down stairs wrapped around it. And then quartz slabs for the corners. Okay, so that's going to be a simple table. Let's go ahead and have a dark oak wood stair on this side and on this side. Then item frames on the sides to act as arm rest and then some jungle doors behind the chair and there we go so that is going to be a table with two chairs then we'll go to this side right here we'll, we'll skip over two spaces away from that table so we want to make sure we have a full block of quartz here so i skipped over three but then it is going to be two so after i add these quartz stairs upside down around the sides they are going to be two spaces apart. Then we want uh, slabs in the corners. And once again, just the same chair designs that we did for the other table in the same spaces. Okay, there we go. So we have two tables right there next to each other. They're, they're not too close to the bathroom door. We still have four spaces in total from there. Uh, I didn't want it to be too close. That would have been a little weird to have like a table right here next to the bathroom door that would just be a weird layout but i think that distance should be fine so there we go is that we're gonna have a lot more tables on this side so i'll start by placing a dark oak wood stair just right here so we have one block of space on each side this table is gonna be right up against the wall so people could like look out the window so we'll go ahead and just make a chair here same design for all of them and then we'll add a block of quartz one space away from it. So we have room to still add the upside down quartz stairs. And then the slabs. And then we'll have another chair on this side. Okay, there we go. Now we'll skip over... Let's see. Maybe we could skip over like two spaces. So we have a space right here and a space right here. And then we'll have another chair. I think that should be good. Then a skip a space and place a block. And then we'll have another table. And then some slabs in the corners. Same design. And then another chair on this side. So I think that should be enough space in between those chairs. And then we just leave off with three spaces away from the edge of that doorway. So I think that's pretty good. Okay, keep in mind we are going to add a lot more decorations on top of the table. So don't worry about that. Now we just want to skip over. We're going to have like a little 
walk space right here that's two spaces wide in between all of the tables. So we'll go ahead and have, let's see, we'll go on the fourth block. We'll place one, two, three quartz stairs. And we'll wrap around, or court, full blocks of quartz, my bad. And then we'll wrap around upside down quartz stairs around those full blocks of quartz. And then some slabs in the corners. So this table is a total of five spaces in length is that we're going to have a total of four chairs for this table. Okay, there we go. I think that's pretty good. So keep in mind, we are going to have like the um, kind of like the counter right here when you're like paying for your food or whatever. Uh, just right here on top of this edge of bone meal. So I thought I, I'd add a little bit of extra space in between the counter here and the table. So three spaces I think should be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and actually do that little counter here. Uh, so I'm going to have a stair. It's actually going to be the same design that we did up there for the ceiling. So a stair like this. We're going to curve it in. And we want to leave two spaces at this side. So the workers are able to go through this space here to get in and out of the kitchen. Okay, and then we are going to have... Let me go ahead and do this as well. Uh, grab some dark oak wood fence gates and just add two right there. So they can walk in and out. Alright, so we'll, we have that taken care of. We know where that is now. And then we are going to have some cash registers on top of that. And let's go ahead and add another table back here in the same spot as we have... That we have this one. So lined up with that, uh, we'll go over on the fourth block. And we'll start adding three. And so we'll just wrap around upside down quartz stairs around the sides of these blocks. And then we'll fill in the corners with slabs and have our chairs once again. Okay, there we go. I think that should be good. All right. So we have the tables and the chairs taken care of. We are going to have a little like podium right here. So when you walk in, you can literally just get your, um, I guess the person that's standing here will like take you to your table. I guess that's the purpose of that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess we could go ahead and place that now. It's not going to be right in the center of the doors. Um, but yeah, we'll work on that. We are going to have a little bit of carpet around it just to give off a little extra light. Then we have some decorations to put on the tables. Then I guess we'll head on to the bathrooms. Hey, let's do the bathroom. Why not? Let's just not even cut. We'll get, we'll head right into the next step. So let me just clear this. So we have that all emptied out and ready to go. Let me get my potion. All right. So we want to grab a full block, uh, or uh, let's grab a quartz slab, a quartz stair, full block of quartz and then a button and a weighted pressure plate then we could grab a hopper some birch trap doors wherever they may be they're like in here yeah and then uh an enron here we'll leave it at that so we're just gonna have like a sink and a toilet i believe i had the toilet on this side right here so a full block of quartz Upside down quartz stairs, or stair, a slab, button, and weighted pressure plate. So that's the toilet design. Then right here, I decided to have the sink. So a block of, whoops, block of quartz on each side, a sink right in the middle. We'll put some birch trap doors. So you got a cross to put it right there. And I'm going to grab a bucket of water and fill it in. Okay, so that's the sink. I believe I actually had it on this wall, right up against that side. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Let's go ahead and do that, actually, instead. I think that might look better. You could have it right here if you'd like. But let's try to have it on this side. See what that looks like. That might actually cover up the entrance. So yeah, we'll put it back where we had it. It might cover up the entrance just a little bit too much. We don't want it to be too small in here. Considering it is already a room, like the room's already small enough as it is, we don't want to make it feel any smaller. Okay, so I think that'll be fine. That should be good, actually. And then right here on this side, let me clear my inventory. Uh, let's just get a flower pot and a fern. I don't think I put this in the other build. 
but we will anyways. And then an end rod and maybe like a gray concrete block. So I have an end rod and a block like that for a lamp. On this side we'll have a fern with a flower pot. Uh, right here to give off maybe a little bit of extra light. So let's bring it down one layer. We're going to put some sea lanterns and cover it up with a painting. So it's decoration and light. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I think that's good. I actually almost forgot. Let's go ahead and put the lights in the ceilings. So I'll just put two sea lanterns side by side and we'll cover these up with iron trap doors. I totally forgot to, uh, all right, so that should be good. I totally forgot to put the sea lanterns and stuff that we're gonna have in this room. I guess we'll do that next after we do all, the, all of the decorations. I'm gonna have the same bathroom design on this side. So um, let me go ahead and grab all the blocks. So block of quartz, quartz slab, quartz stair, button and weighted pressure plate. And we'll have it, uh, let's see. We'll have it right here, kind of more on the left side. Okay, and then we'll have the sink. And we need a hopper. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Let me head back to the other side. We need to grab an item frame and a, a lever. Uh, where's the lever? Okay, yeah, item frame and a lever. So place the lever first and then the item frame behind it. So that's going to act as the handle or the faucet for the sink. I almost forgot about that. Let's do that on this side as well. So lever first and then the item frame. Let's grab birch trap doors. Okay. And then we'll grab our bucket of water. Don't need to do this, but I think it looks a little bit better. Uh, make sure you do definitely have something in front of here or the water will pour out. So maybe if I open this. Yeah, if I deleted this completely, that would all pour out. So make sure just to have a some type of thing covering that up. Uh, what else are we missing? Let's grab an end rod and a gray concrete block. We'll put it on this side. And then we'll put another fern and flower pot. Cut out four spaces here, replace it with end rods, cover it up with a painting. I hate that one. I don't like, this is literally the only painting that I actually don't use. That other one that popped up. Okay, and then up here in the ceiling, just two side by side sea lanterns covered up with iron trap doors. And there we go. That should definitely be good. All right. So now... Uh, we'll do the little podium here in the middle, put some carpet with sea lanterns, and then we'll add the decorations to the tables. Then we'll start doing the sea lanterns in the, like, kind of hanging down from the ceiling. Okay, so I gathered up some of the decorations we're going to be using for the tables. So I have a fern, flower pot, weighted pressure plate, gray concrete, and end rods. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is first off, add one end rod on top of these smaller tables with a gray concrete block. So this is gonna be a little lamp for the table. Then weighted pressure plates for each seat. So those are gonna act as actual plates for your food. And then a flower pot with a fern in the middle. So we're gonna do the same thing here. So weighted pressure plates and a flower pot in the middle. Now for these bigger tables, I'm actually going to have an end rod with a full block of gray concrete on each side. So two on these, a flower pot with a fern in the middle, and then four weighted pressure plates. So we're going to do the same thing for this side. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to head on over to these smaller tables, and it's going to be the same design that we had for those smaller ones over there. So let's go ahead and have one on uh, this edge and on uh, this edge. We don't want them right in the middle. That might be too much light. We kind of want to try to even it out a little bit. So then gray concrete like this. Yeah, uh, maybe I could have. Let's go ahead and add this to maybe the other side. So it brightens up that side because we already have a little bit of light shining right here from that one. So I'll do that for this as well. So just right up against that wall, that should be good. Okay, so yeah, let me head on to this side. Finish doing the decorations. And there we go. So that's how simple the, the uh, tables are going to be. Oh, wait. 
I didn't even notice. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's all it is going to be, or that's all we're going to be doing for the tables. So we just have the little podium here in the front with some carpets. And then we'll head on to doing, I guess we'll do the office spaces and we'll leave the kitchen for last. Because that is kind of like the biggest part. So uh, yeah, the office spaces are actually really simple. So let's go ahead and start doing the podium with the carpet and, and uh, sea lanterns in the floor. And then I almost forgot we have to hang down some lights. Okay, so now for the podium and the carpet with sea lanterns, you just want some quartz stairs, quartz slabs, light gray carpet, gray carpet, green carpet, and sea lanterns. Okay, so for the podium, it doesn't have to be in any specific spot, but I'm going to have it kind of like right here in the center. So I want, let's see, uh, one, two, three stairs like that facing is that direction, how it is. And then let's see, I have it four spaces away from the edge of that chair and four spaces away from the edge of that chair. So it's right in the center in between the tables. Then I'll add some quartz slabs on top of it. And I believe what I did was wrapped it around like this on each side. And then here I had a high chair. So we'll place a stair in facing in that direction. So right up against the other ones that we have. And then in that direction. So it's like a little high chair. Okay, so there we go. So that's where the people or the person is just going to be sitting here when anybody new comes in. And they'll most likely take you to your table or whatever. Okay, so now I'm going to cut out one, two, three, four, five. I would say, yeah, five spaces like that. And we'll make it like three blocks wide here. Then we'll go behind this and do the same thing. Okay, so it's kind of center with the podium. Now I'm gonna fill in these holes with sea lanterns. And then we, you could put whatever carpet design you would like on top of these to cover them up. So I'm gonna add maybe like a strip of green carpet there. And then some gray carpet and light gray. So I made a simple design like that. Looks a little bit more modern. I'll do a similar design here. Okay, I think that should be pretty good. Okay, so... you can, By the way, you can't really place anything on top of this since it is a slab. So, we can't really do anything extra there. Okay. And I also didn't want it too tall to where the people that are walking in, it's like in front of their face like this. That's too tall, so I just decided to add a little slab. Okay, so that is going to be everything for this area. So, yeah, I guess we'll start doing, hanging down all of the sea lanterns and extra lights. Then we'll head on to doing the office spaces. Next, we're going to hang down some lights from the ceilings. So you could grab sea lanterns, end rods, and iron trap doors. So I'm going to start with my end rod. And we want to make sure we're three spaces away from this wall right here. Is that two spaces away from this wall. So it's going to be right there. So yeah, two spaces there, and then three spaces here. Then I want to bring this down a total of four. So there we go. Then I want to place sea lanterns underneath this. Overhang one extra on that side. So it's actually two spaces away from the wall now. We'll bring this straight across until it's two spaces away from this wall. And then we'll place four more end rods on this side. Not all the way against the full, or all the way right here, but just one block in. Okay, so there we go. And then we'll place one more in the middle so they're all two spaces apart. Then I'm going to place iron trap doors underneath. If you don't want to be able to see as much of the sea lanterns, you could just go ahead and grab any other like wooden trap door you would like. So you could completely cover up all of the sides. I'm not going to worry about it. I just, I'm just going to have some iron trap doors right underneath. Now, we just want to make sure these are all four spaces apart. So one, two, three, four. So we're going to have another row right here. I guess I'll go ahead and place some right now. And make sure they're all lined up. Then one, two, three, four on the fifth block. You could place another row. And you just want to keep placing rows until you're two spaces away from that wall.
Okay, guys, I'm two spaces away from the wall now, so I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, and six rows of sea lanterns. Uh, I guess I'll take care of it now. Let's just go ahead and add iron trap doors underneath. Oh, wait. Uh, is this one not long enough? Uh, these are too long. <laughs> Make sure these aren't one space away, but they're two spaces away. I guess I made those a little bit too long. Okay. So let me add another layer under here. Okay. Now I'm just going to grab my end rods. I'll place one here, here, and here. Oh, wait. Here. <laughs> so they're all two spaces apart. We leave one space on each side and they're going to be four in height until you just meet up with this ceiling. So I'll take care of this. Then we'll start doing the office spaces. Okay, guys, I'm just now finishing up and there we go. So that should be enough light. I could easily see in here. I think we should be fine. Yeah, let's make sure how bright are these. Yeah, that's definitely good. Okay, so that's going to be everything for the dining area. And then we got the bathrooms done. So we'll head on to the office spaces. Okay, guys. So I'm going to start at this office space on the right side. It could be on either side. It's going to be the same thing on each side anyways. So I went ahead and grabbed some gray carpet, gray wool, string, dark oak wood stairs, jungle doors, item frames, jungle trap doors, spruce wood, and oak leaves. Okay, so I guess the first thing we'll go ahead and do, which is probably the easiest, is just place some spruce wood in the corner facing upward, cover it up with jungle trap doors, and then place three layers of oak leaves. Okay, so we literally don't even need these three blocks here on the edge now. So we'll go ahead and switch to our gray, our gray wool and we'll start placing the desk. So we will place two like that, one space away from that window, two more here, one space away from that wall, three in the middle, then three string, and we'll cover this all up with a layer of gray carpet. On uh, this side, this is where the uh, just random people are going to be sitting down in, so maybe an interview or something. So we have two chairs on this side, one here for the main manager. This chair is going to have a jungle trap door and item frames. These chairs are just going to have item frames. Okay, there we go. And I did have a little painting right here, I believe. If I cut that... Okay, maybe I didn't. Okay. Uh, I, th I thought I did. Okay, I guess we won't have one there then. Maybe the walls were... No, they weren't two blocks thick. Okay. I don't know where I had a painting. I, had, I saw a painting on the original build, like right here. Maybe I had the painting on this side and I put it on the other side as well. I think that's actually what I did. All right, anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Let's go ahead and put our sea lanterns. Here, we'll do that later. We'll put sea lanterns and iron trap doors in the ceiling, but let's go ahead and furnish this side now. And then we'll just get rid of all these blocks so we have space for the iron trap doors and sea lanterns. So the same thing on this side, so bushes in the corner. And then we'll have a big desk in the middle. Some string, layer of gray carpet. The main chair on this side. Then two smaller chairs here. And that is everything, right? Yeah. Okay, so now I guess I'll just clear this. So we have space to grab sea lanterns and iron trap doors and we'll put these in the ceiling and this should be enough light i don't know how i had a painting and the wall i must have just had a painting out this side as well as the other side but we won't worry about it oh yeah let's cover these up and then we'll go to this other side we'll do the same thing Okay, there we go. So that's going to be everything for the office spaces. So we'll then head on to the kitchen area and then we are done with this entire build. Okay, let's go ahead and start doing the kitchen. So I grabbed some white concrete, quartz slabs, oak wood stairs, signs, 
birch trap doors, oak pressure plates, blocks of quartz, and quartz stairs. Okay, so we'll start by doing the counter right here. So you want to make sure you have three spaces away from this counter. And we'll place a block like this, then curve it. And we want to leave four spaces on this side. So right here, we left two for that opening. But on this side, we want to leave four. So we'll curve a stair like that. So I left four spaces. Okay. Then uh, let's go ahead and start doing the cash register. So place your oak wood stair right here. Three spaces away from that wall. Then three spaces away from that. And uh, three more spaces. It's going to leave two spaces at the end, which is fine. Then we'll place some signs on the sides of this just to give a little bit more decoration and detail instead of just leaving it with a random stair okay and then back here this is where we're going to be using our oak pressure plates so i'll leave like three spaces on that side skip four and have three spaces on this side so these are just going to act as cutting boards where the fish is being cut uh keep in mind i did mention this this is kind of like a, more of a fish restaurant now I want to go from the ceiling right along the, like make sure you're lined up with this counter here and bring down three blocks of white concrete and make sure to bring it across until it's lined up at the edge of this counter down here. Okay, and then we'll place some quartz slabs underneath this. All right. So now on uh, this side, this is where all of the food, like the menu is going to be displayed. So I've just had some item frames and I put fish on or for the inside of the item frames. So when you like walk into like a fast food restaurant, like a McDonald's, you're able to just look up and see what you want. So that's kind of what I thought of that as. So we'll take care of that later. Okay, so now I just had a little refrigerator over here. I wasn't really planning on adding one because the fish is going to be stored in water on this side. But I thought since it is still a kitchen, we'll have a refrigerator right here. So three blocks of quartz, one at the bottom, one at the top, upside down quartz stair on the left side with some slabs on top. Then I'm going to grab birch trap doors. This is just going to be a little bit of extra storage. So we'll put this on the sides like this. Okay, that should be good. And what else could we do? Uh, we're going to have the ovens like right here in the middle with some oven hoods above it. Uh, on this side, I had four sinks. So let's see. What else? Was there anything else we were able to do? I think that's all I was going to do. So we'll just head on to everything else. So over here, let me just clear my inventory. Uh, I'm going to grab some hoppers and birch trap doors so we'll place four hoppers so one two three four i just left two spaces on that side uh let's skip this over so one space on that side we left three spaces over here so there is still space to walk back and forth and then i'm gonna crouch and add a bunch of birch trap doors on the sides of these hoppers then I'm going to grab some buckets of water, crouch again, and fill all of these in. Now I'm going to get uh, item frame and levers. We'll place the levers first, make sure they're pointed downward. And then item frames behind them. So these are going to be the faucets. So this is just where the employees are going to wash their hands. Okay, I think that's everything for that. Now... I guess we could go ahead and start doing the little uh, glass things that we're going to have here with the water. So you could grab some quartz slabs and just some blocks of glass. Uh, you can use whatever glass you would like. I'm just going to go ahead and use the basic glass block. So I want to leave like one space on this side that will place one block here. Place three and then place another one. So it looks like that. Okay, I want to add another layer on top of this. And then some quartz slabs brought up like that on the top to cover it up. You know what? Now that I think about it, it might be better to have like trap doors right here. So you can open them and like access the fish. I guess we'll do that guys. So we'll just, we'll have uh, some trap doors there instead. I think that would be better. Let's have another little storage thing here. I'm going to fill this in with water. Just two layers like this. 
keep in mind uh when i was placing the fish a lot of the times they just jumped right out of the water but most importantly they actually despawned so um <laughs> i guess i'll just place a couple fish in here to show you but uh they will definitely despawn eventually so let me see i'm just gonna use maybe the regular here i'll use jungle trap doors to cover this up and we'll, we'll leave this open we'll go inside here we'll just add two fish on this side uh oh please don't get out okay so yeah they're gonna despawn eventually but i don't know i guess i'll just place them either way okay so now you can access them oh he would oh dang it oh he did get out for a second there <laughs> So now on this side, go ahead and just do the same thing again. Try to place them at the bottom so that they don't get out of the water immediately. If you place them at the top, they're all just going to jump out. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Instead of just having the quartz slab there. He's like stuck at the top. Alright, so that's where the fish is going to be stored. Then literally all we have left to do... Oh yeah, I'm going to cut out a hole right here. And I'll leave it like that and I'll fill it in. Let me clear my inventory. I'm going to fill this in with sea lanterns and cover it up with gray, light gray, and green carpet. In case you didn't realize, that is kind of the color scheme that I'm using for this build. So gray, light gray, and green. All right, let's go ahead and have just one there and then light gray. So that's pretty good. So that's going to be just a little extra light. Uh, I'm going to carve out a strip right here. And let me actually, here, I don't think I need the potion. I'll fill this in with sea lanterns, cover it up with iron trap doors. So this just shines some light down on the menu here. Let me actually get my potion again. And we'll go ahead and do the menu now. So let me just clear this. I'll grab an item frame and we'll go to the food section and we'll grab every type of fish. Okay, so now I'm going to cover this all up with a bunch of item frames. Okay, now I'm going to head over here to the left side. We'll have two spaces of cooked cod, two spaces of raw cod. I actually didn't realize that was raw. Oops. Uh, cooked salmon, raw salmon. Yeah, I didn't realize these were raw. <laughs> I thought they were all different types of fish. Oh, well. So there we go. We'll just fill all of that in. So two spaces of each kind of fish. And then we'll just fill in the rest of this. Then right here right there yeah i don't think anybody's gonna be wanting to buy raw fish <laughs> unless they're taking it home to cook it okay there we go i think that should be good and then we just have oh yeah let me get here we won't worry about that yet so let's have the oven spaces now so uh, all we need are some quartz stairs birch trap doors sea lanterns iron trap doors full blocks of quartz and quartz slabs okay so i'm gonna have oh yeah i almost forgot we need to grab a furnace and then i'll just get some powered rails and i think that's everything so i want to place maybe like two furnaces there skip over two spaces and place two more i did originally have three but that was before I had the fridge right here. Then there was only one block of space to walk. So I just added, or I left it as two. So two spaces in between them. Two spaces like that. I left three spaces away from that refrigerator. All right. Now I want to kind of like crouch and place a stair. How did I have this? Here, let's place two stairs behind here. And then we'll wrap this around. So it's like rounded off. And then we'll go from this angle and place another one. So it's like, uh, like that. As you can see, it's kind of backwards from this side. So we'll do the same thing here. So basically just crouch right here, place it, and it should curve in. And then I'll place birch trap doors on each side. So it looks like storage. And it looks like we do have to move over. Let's see. All right. So I have it one block over. So make sure you have three spaces in between. My bad. So I left two spaces on this side for walking. Then leave two spaces or three spaces in total here before you actually place this. And then we'll go ahead and place the stairs around this. And it's going to be right on the edge of the counter here. As you can see. So let's finish placing these stairs. And then birch trap doors. 
We'll crouch and place powered rails. All right. So now we'll place the oven hoods. So I want to go above this, grab blocks of quartz, look straight up, bring it down two layers, two spaces wide as well, and then two sea lanterns. We'll cover these up with quartz stairs around the edge on each side. And then we'll fill in the corners with slabs and then add some slabs underneath. Okay, and then the last step would be the iron trap doors. And now just to give a little bit extra light, let's put some sea lanterns here in the ceiling of the white concrete. So I'll put them in the corner like this. Is that lined up? Yes. And then maybe just some right here down the middle as well. So like four spaces away from that. And then four spaces away from that one. So there are two spaces. Here, we'll place them all three spaces. And then right here in the middle is going to be four. Cover these all up. I keep getting stuck on everything. That's really annoying. All right. Let's cover these up. And I think that should be enough light. Let's place one right here in the middle, actually. Whoops. All right. So that should be good, guys. I think that's going to be everything for this build. I believe I did everything. All right. So yeah, I believe that is everything, guys. So that is how to build a restaurant. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for this tutorial on how to build a restaurant. And if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.